Primary School Math Olympiad Geometric Challenge 27. Circles. This is a challenge for Primary School Math Olympiad for questions related to geometry for circles. There are five questions. The challenge is to complete them within 25 minutes. If you can't achieve it the first time, do not be disheartened. With practice, if one works hard and revise this challenge multiple times, one should be able to complete this challenge within 25 minutes. Question 1. The diagram comprises five identical size circles. Points OPQ, R and S are the center of the circles. Radius of the circles is 7 cm. Find the size of shaded areas in centimeters square. Pi is 22 over 7. Question 2. The diagram comprises three identical size circles. Points OPQ are the center of the circles. Radius of the circles is 7 cm. Find the size of shaded areas in centimeters squared. Pi is 22 over 7. Question 3. There are 16 points evenly spread on the circle as shown. How many right angle triangles can be formed by joining any of the three points? Question 4. There are 12 points evenly spread on the circle as shown. How many equilateral triangles can be formed by joining any of the three points? Question 5. There are four points on the circle as shown. How many triangles can be formed by joining any of the three points? Answer for question one. Add the dotted red lines and move part of the shaded area from ORS to form a partial circle OSB. The shaded area is now represented by the partial circle ORB. Given RS and SP are lengths of the circle radius, thus the arc degree for the partial circle ORP is 120 degrees. Area of partial circle ORP is 7 times 7 times 120 over 360 times pi. Solve the equation. The answer is 51 and 1 third centimeters square. Answer for question 2. Add the dotted red lines and move part of the shaded area to the unshaded part as shown. The shaded area is now represented by a semicircle with the center at O. Shaded area equals area of the semicircle equals 7 times 7 times 180 over 360 times pi. The answer is 77 centimeters square. Answer for question 3. Angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. There are 16 divided by 2 equals 8 ways to form semicircle as shown. Each semicircle has 7 points to choose as the third point for the right angle triangles as shown. As such each diameter line of the circle has 14 ways to form a right angle triangle. There are eight diameter lines, thus the total right angle triangles equals 8 times 14. The answer is 112. The same calculation can be used if the points on the circle are 4, 8, 12, 20, 24, and so on with the addition of four points. The formula is n divided by 2 times the result of n minus 2, where n is the number of points. Answer for question 4. See the equilateral triangle form in the circle from point A. It is not possible to form more equilateral triangle with other points from point A, as their sides will not be equilateral. You can form three more equilateral triangles as shown. Thus the total equilateral triangles is four. The formula to find the number of equilateral triangles is equals n divided by three. As such n needs to be a number of points divisible by 3, e.g. if there are 36 points, the number of equilateral triangles equals 36, divided by 3 equals 12. 
if there are 4, 8, 16, 20 points or a number not divisible by 3, it is not possible to form equilateral triangles. Answer for question 5. See the diagram. The number of triangles that can be formed is 4, since none of the points are collinear, meaning any three points can form a triangle. Thus the answer is 4. If there are more points on the circle, it will not be possible to use the same approach. Assuming you have n points, given you can use any three points to form a triangle. The number of triangles can be calculated using the combination formula of nc3 as shown. Using the formula, if n equals 4, the number of triangles equals 4. Using the formula, if n equals 5, the number of triangles equals 10. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.